Just the other day it arrived in the mail, my official voter guide. I said, what the hell, let's take a look, see what it's all about. I read and I read, but I still can't figure it out. Started with the first one, Proposition 1. It's not in the same guide as the rest of them. It's supplemental. It arrived later on. That's why it took a bit longer to write this song. So I went online for the pros and cons. Turns out Prop 1 is a water bond. It could help address the drought in our state. Seven billion to pay for infrastructure that's out of date. Prop 2 is next. It's a complicated one. Something about the state's rainy day fund if it passes have to save more. We pay down the state's debts faster than we did before. Bear with me now, this doesn't make sense, but Prop 45 is the one that comes next. It's confusing, but what you gonna do? I'll vote, but still have the California Proposition Blues. See the insurance commissioner wants more control. Health insurance companies, they say no, it's a voter. It's up to you to choose. I understand if you got the California Proposition Blues. The next one is also a health care prop. 46 affects California's docs. It changes the cap on medical suits. It tries to cut down on alleged doctor drug abuse. Seven is next, and it deals with crime. Should nonviolent offenders do less time? Supporters say, vote yes because you think we should change California's sentencing laws. Forty-eight's unlike the rest of them. No initiative. It's a referendum in support. Some tribes they do rally. Yes, vote allows a new casino in the Central Valley. If you want more info, you can go online, try calvoter.org. We're open all the time, we'll help you decide who should win or lose. And help you avoid the California Proposition Blues.